Hi Flexors, glad you're checking out this video. Today's yoga practice is gonna be all about opening up through the hips. Um, we are a sitting culture, we're people who sit a lot, so we can tend to get really stiff in the hips. So our practice today will try to loosen up through the hips. Um, but yoga, it's not just about stretching, it's about strengthening too. So we're gonna work on strengthening the hamstrings and the hip flexors, um, which are so essential for us to take big movement from the hips, climbing upstairs, getting out of bed, getting out of cars. Um, so let's get started. We'll need, you'll need a chair and a block. And as usual, we'll take a moment just to set up our alignment in our chair. So we wanna have the knees in line with the hips and then the ankles right underneath the knees. And we'll take our hands to our lap. Take a moment just to lengthen through the spine. So we're sitting nice and tall. Let's just roll those shoulders back. And then we'll close the eyes if you feel comfortable. Just taking a moment to begin our practice by turning inward, settling the mind so that when we start moving, we're coming from a very sort of centered and grounded place. And as we sit here, we'll pay attention to our breath Maybe even fix our mind to it, following the inhale all the way to the top and the exhale all the way to the bottom. And you can think of your breath as a stretch at the top of every inhale. We feel an expansion in the body even maybe a sense of lightness. And on every exhale, we feel a narrowing of the body, a coming into the core or centering or groundedness. Just tuning in to those qualities of the breath. And let's take one more deep breath here, breathing in and exhaling out and opening the eyes here. Nice. We're going to take our attention to that left shoulder and just isolating the shoulder here. We're going to move it to the back of the room and then releasing. We'll do that again and release. And one more time and release. Taking it on the other side, drawing that right shoulder back and releasing, taking it back and releasing. And one last time and releasing. We'll draw both shoulders to the back of the room, really knitting those shoulders blades together. So drawing them in towards the spine and you can lift that belly and then maybe even take the chest up to the sky. A couple of deep breaths here. One more deep breath in and on the exhale, releasing. Taking our attention back to that left shoulder. We're gonna draw it forward this time. And releasing the movements coming just from the shoulder, not from the spine also. We'll again, draw it forward. And release. And one last time. And releasing. Opposite side, taking that right shoulder forward. And releasing. Taking it forward. And release, and one last time forward, and release, nice. We'll draw both shoulders forward and together. Now it's almost as if we're trying to hug something with those shoulders. Holding here for a moment, if you like, take a deep breath in on the exhale, drop that chin to chest. 
And then with your next exhale, just thinking about releasing any tension in the neck, letting it melt down the back. We'll lift the head again. Then we'll take those shoulders up to the ears, holding there for a moment. And then rolling them down the back. Let's start to activate the core. So we're going to lift the belly. So we're just going to draw that belly in. And then we're going to draw the pelvic floor muscles in. So if you need a little reminder, that pelvic floor, the muscles that we hold when we have to go to the bathroom, but there's no place to go. So we draw those in along with the core, holding for that holding that for a moment as we continue to breathe. And then releasing. Let's do that again. Draw the belly in, draw the pelvic floor in, holding here, keep breathing. And release. And again, drawing the belly in, drawing the pelvic floor muscles in, and releasing, nice. We're gonna take that left shoulder to the back of the room, and we're gonna draw in the belly, draw the pelvic floor in, and then we're gonna rotate the spine over to the left. A couple of deep breaths here. If you like, you can look over that left shoulder, getting a little stretch in the neck. Deep breath in. On the exhale, coming center. Taking it to the other side, we'll draw that right shoulder back, lift the belly, lift the pelvic floor, and then starting from that base of the spine, we're gonna rotate over to the right. If you like, looking over that right shoulder. Deep breath in here, and exhale to release. One more time on each side, taking that left shoulder back, lifting the belly, lifting the pelvic floor, and then spiraling over to the left, looking over that left shoulder if it feels good. Deep breath in and exhale it out. And last side, we're gonna draw that right shoulder to the back of the room, lift the belly, lift the pelvic floor, coming to sit up nice and tall, and then we're gonna spiral over to the right. Deep breath in here, and exhale to release. Nice, grab one of your blocks, and let's take that block underneath that right foot. Take a moment just to settle it and just scooch the block a little bit. You can hold on to your chair and just scooch it a little bit until you get that right ankle right underneath the knee. We just wanna make sure that we're feeling nice and supported by the block here. And then I'm gonna hold on to the base of my chair here. I'll take the heel of my right foot to that block and really flex the foot here, drawing those toes in towards the shin, spread those toes. We're gonna to wanna get those toes a little stretch too. And then I'm gonna think about really digging that right heel into the block. I'm gonna plant it into the block. It's not going to move, but I'm gonna think about energetically pulling the heel towards me. In that way, we're strengthening the hamstring. A couple of breaths, remember to keep breathing even when we're working on strengthening or stretching. And we'll release the sole of that foot down onto that block, nice. Imagine that center line of the body. We're gonna draw that right knee to the center line, rolling onto the inner edge of the foot, holding here. And keep working it. It's not just a pose we hit, we continue to try to draw that right knee in. Maybe even as if it can touch the left leg maybe. And then we're gonna drop the knee out to the side, rolling onto the outer edge of the foot. Holding here, opening up through that right hip here. Let's inhale that right arm up alongside the ear and we'll float it down right in front of us. We'll plant the sole of the right foot into the earth. And then I'm gonna push my arm against that right leg 
and rotate over to the left here. Again, option to hold onto the base of your chair just for a little more stability. And that grip also helps you sort of rotate as well using the upper body strength, if you like. A couple of deep breaths here. And releasing the twist. Let's float that right arm up alongside the ear, turn the palm away, and then float the arm down. Sinking breath and movement, inhaling the arm up, exhaling it down. Inhaling it up, sitting up a little bit taller, beautiful, exhaling it down. Inhaling it up, and exhaling it down. And inhaling it up. This time we'll hold as you exhale. And then we're gonna reach that right hand down the back, half Gomukhasana here. If you can't quite touch the back, you can take that hand to the back of the head here. We're still gonna work a little deeper here. So we'll reach up for the sky again, really getting length in that right side body. You can even um, extend out from the shoulder here. And then again, reach to the head or down the back. See if you get a little further down than you did the first time. And we'll reach up to the sky again. Again, nice length here. Maybe we really think, can we touch? The ceiling here, wiggle those fingers for that ceiling. And wiggling a little bit longer. And reaching down. And one last time, reaching up for the sky. And then reaching down the back. Holding a breath or two here. Drawing that elbow towards the back of the room keeping that belly lifted for a sense of lightness. A lot going on in our yoga practice. And we'll take that right hand to the sternum and then to that left shoulder. And from here, we're just gonna sweep the arm around the head for a little shoulder mobility. Take your time. And the next time that right hand comes to the left shoulder, holding there for a moment. And then we're gonna rotate over to the left. Deep breath in. On the exhale, releasing the twist. And you can float that right arm down. We're gonna inhale that left arm up alongside the ear. On the exhale, twisting to the right. Holding here for a breath and releasing, coming back center. We'll take the hands to the thighs, lengthen through the spine here, and then pushing down into the sole of that right foot, we're just gonna drop the torso slightly. So we'll come onto the forearms here, getting a little deeper in the hips here. An option to stay like this, or you can grab on to the back of your chair here and reach that right arm down for the earth. In order to do that, you need to spiral over to the left. Just reaching maybe for our block, our foot, our leg, whatever you can, just reaching down. And we'll come up a little bit, get that length in the spine again. And then reaching down, spiraling over to the left. And repeating that, coming up to sit up nice and tall. And then reaching down, spiraling over to the left. Push down into the sole of that right foot. Activate the quads to help you now come to sit up nice and tall, give you that sense of stability. And we're gonna take our hands to our chair, holding on here, holding on to the seat here. I'm gonna push down into the sole of my left foot here and take that right heel to the block. Holding here for a moment, I plant that heel in, I draw it energetically in towards the body to strengthen that hamstring. 
And then I'm going to push so hard down into that left leg that maybe that right knee starts to float towards the chest, holding here, building strength in the hip flexor. And then I'll drop that knee out to the side, extend the leg long and floating it down. Let's do that two more times. Let's take the heel to that block, energetically pull it in towards you and push into the earth to draw that right knee into the chest. We'll drop the knee out to the sides, trying to stay nice and tall. Extend the leg long and releasing it down. And one more time, heel to the block, energetically draw it in. Push down into the earth to float the knee towards the chest. Release it out to the side, that knee. Extend the leg long and floating it down, nice. With that exhale, you're just letting go of any tension. That was a lot of work. Now let go of that tension. We're gonna cross that right ankle at the left here. Just take a moment to let that knee drop out to the side. Option to stay like this, or you can cross that right leg on top of the left. And you can stay like this, or you can draw that right ankle onto the left thigh, maybe cradling the knee here. A couple of breaths like this. An option to stay, or we'll grab onto the underside of that left thigh. An option to stay like this, or we'll reach our left hand for the back of our chair here, holding on. And then I'm gonna push down into the sole of my left foot, again, to stabilize myself. As I reach down for the earth, just getting deep in that right hip. You can look at the earth here, keep that right foot flexed. And we're all twisted like this, it's hard to tell what's right and left. A couple more breaths here. And then rolling up to sit up nice and tall. We'll grab onto our seat again and float that right foot back down to the block. Nice. We're gonna step off that block and grab that block and just rest it in our laps for a moment. We're gonna return our focus to our shoulders for a little bit, at least that right shoulder. I'm gonna uh, take my hand and uh, have the palm facing up to the sky. I'll take the inside of my hand in towards the belly. From there, I'm gonna extend my arm or you're gonna extend your arm towards me. And then it's like I'm giving you something and then I'm gonna take it away and take those fingertips to the shoulder. I'm keeping that hand nice and flexed. And then I'm gonna push the hand up to the sky and then really sit back down and travel back the way I just came. So fingertips turn towards me, extend the arm long, and then take the inside of that hand to the belly. Let's do that again. Extend your arm or hand out to me. Draw the fingers to your shoulder. Keep that hand nice and flexed. And then push the hand up towards the sky. Floating it back down. Fingertips turn towards me. Extend that arm long and take the inside of the hand to the belly. Nice. Option to continue to work just like this, or if you like, we're gonna add a little bit of weight to it by taking, sorry about that, by taking the block to the hand. A little bit now of a balance challenge. We can take it nice and slow. We'll take the inside of the hand to the belly. Extend the hand out towards me. Fingertips to the shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Float that block back down. Fingertips towards me. X, 
extend the arm long and draw the inside of that hand back to the belly. Nice. Two more times. Extend that arm out. Fingertips to the shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Float it back down. Turn your fingertips towards me. Extend the arm. And then inside of the hand to the belly. One last time. I know it's getting a little harder. Stay with it. Extend that arm long. Fingertips to the shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Floating it back down. Fingertips towards me. Extend that arm long and inside of the hand back to the belly. Nice. Let's take that block back to the earth and we're gonna step that left foot now on top of the block. Again, you can hold onto your seat and just take a moment to scooch that block so that that ankle is right underneath the knee here. And coming to sit up nice and tall. Let's roll those shoulders back. And then we're gonna take that left heel to the block here. Again, we're digging it into the block. Let's spread those toes, giving them a little stretch here. And then that heel is gonna be stay planted, but we're gonna energetically draw the heel in towards us, strengthening the hamstring. And then we'll release the sole of the foot to the block. Imagine the center line of the body. We're gonna draw that left knee to the center line, rolling onto the inside of that foot. And again, keep drawing that left knee in. It takes work to hold it there. And then we're gonna release that knee out to the side, rolling onto the outer edge of that foot. From here, sweep that left arm up alongside the ear and on the exhale, floating it down. We're gonna ground the sole of that left foot into the block again. And then I'm gonna push my hand or maybe my forearm against my leg as I rotate to the right. You can look over that right shoulder if you like. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, release. We're gonna float that left arm up alongside the ear. <sighs> Flip the palm away from you and float that arm down. Again, sinking breath and movement, inhaling the arm up and exhaling it down. Inhaling the arm up and exhaling down. Inhaling and exhaling and inhaling. This time we're gonna hold as we exhale and I'm gonna take that dog out of here. One second. As I tell my kids when they're not behaving, you've lost the privilege. That dog, she lost the privilege of being here. Okay, from here, we're now gonna reach down the back, either hand to head or reaching down the back. And then we'll reach up for the ceiling, getting length in that left side body. And then reaching back down. Again, reaching up for the sky, if you like wiggling those fingers a little bit, really reaching out of the shoulder to get as much length as possible. And then reaching down. And one last time, reaching up for the sky. And reaching down. Half Gomukasana, holding for a couple breaths. And then we'll take that left hand to the sternum and then to that right shoulder. And then just sweeping the arm around the head, moving at your own time and thinking about or tuning into how it feels 
Do you feel nice and loose in that shoulder? Is it a little sticky? And if it's a little sticky, maybe finding out where, you know, where is that place that it feels more sticky than others? Maybe just pausing there for a moment, taking it a little slower as you move through it. That's the nice thing about yoga. It really asks us to inquire within to see how we're feeling as we move. It really builds awareness or intelligence of the body. It's one of the things I, I love most about the yoga practice. And the next time we take that hand around, we're gonna land at the left shoulder, the right shoulder, and then we're gonna spiral to the right. Deep breath in here, on the exhale, releasing. Let's inhale that right arm up. Exhale, spiraling to the left, holding here. And then releasing the twist, coming center. We'll plant the hands in the lap, get that length in the spine, shoulders away from the ears. And then keeping that spine nice and long, I'm just gonna slightly drop the torso. As I do, I'm pushing in to the earth so that I get more stability. Maybe I take my forearms to my thighs, maybe hanging out here. Or if I like, I'll reach my right hand back from my chair and then reach that left hand down for the earth, spiraling over to the right. From here, coming back up or center, I should say. And then again, reaching down, spiraling over to the right. And one more time, returning center, and then spiraling down. And return center, come to sit up nice and tall. And again, we're gonna take the heel of that left foot to our block, take a moment to energetically draw it in towards the body, and then push down into the earth to float that left knee in towards the chest. From here, we'll drop it out to the side, extend the leg, and floating it down. Repeating that, let's ground that left heel into the earth or your block. From here, push down into the earth, float that knee in towards the chest, drop the knee out to the side, extend the leg long and floating down. And heel the block, energetically draw it in, float that knee up to the chest, drop the knee out to the side, extend the leg long and floating it down. Again, that was a lot of effort. Take a moment just to let go of the effort with the exhale. And then we'll cross that left ankle at the right one, allowing us to open up through that left hip. Option to stay like this, or we'll cross the leg on top of the other. And option to stay like this, or we'll take that left ankle to the right thigh, holding here, maybe cradling the knee, coming to sit up nice and tall. Just sending our breath to that left hip. That's a very yogi phrase, sending the breath to a part of the body. What does that mean? It just means to think about that area and exhale and try to release, try to relax and let go of any clenching. We wanna stretch in yoga. When we're clenching, it's hard to stretch. So we try to soften, relax, send our breath to an area to, to allow ourselves to stretch open. And from here, I'm gonna reach back for the chair. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take my hands to that right thigh here for a moment. And then I'll reach that right arm for the back of my chair. Option to stay like this, or if I like, I'll come into a forward bend, reaching that left hand down towards the earth, breathing in to that left hip.
And then rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. We'll take our hands to our sides, maybe holding onto the base of our chair and float that left foot back to the earth. Let's grab our blocks. We'll rest on our lap again and we're gonna take that shoulder sequence on the other side. So left palm facing up to the sky. We'll draw the inside of the hand to the belly. Extend your arm towards me. If you like, you can even uh, lean through the torso here. And then you'll draw the fingertips back to your shoulder. Keep that hand flexed and extend the arm up to the sky. Floating that hand back down. Fingertips turn towards me. Extend the arm long. And then take the inner edge of that hand to the belly. Extend your arm out to me. Fingertips to shoulder. Push that hand up to the sky. Float it back down. Fingertips towards me. Extend the arm long and take the inside of the hand back to the belly. You can continue just like this. I can already feel it really working me. Um, and you may too. So that might be enough for today. If you wanna add weight to it, grab that block. Weight and the balance challenge. You can take it a little slower than I'm cueing if you like as well. From here, we'll extend that arm long. Fingertips to the shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Floating it back down. Fingertips towards me. Extend that arm long. And then inside the hand to the belly. Two more times. Extend that arm out to me. Fingertips to shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Releasing it back down. Fingertips towards me. Extending the arm long. And then taking the inside of the hand to the belly. One last time. Extend that arm long. Fingertips to the shoulder. Push that block up to the sky. Float the arm back down. Fingertips to me. Extend your arm forward and take the inside of the hand to the belly. Nice. We'll rest that block back in the lap. We're gonna do um, a little bit of cognitive exercises here, but before we get to that, we're just going to take the block into our left hand and just think about the movement first. We're going to pass the block from hand to hand. Now you can continue just like this, or maybe you want to make it a little fancy. So we'll take that block in the left hand and we're going to make an infinity loop or a sideways eight, depends how you think about it, right? Or what you call it. So we're going to take the block up and then swoop it down into that right hand. Take the block up and swoop it down into that left hand back and forth like this. Just a few more times. And the next time that block comes into that left hand, like maybe right now, holding there for a moment, now we're gonna take that same swooping motion, but take the block underneath the legs. So again, I'll start with that block in my left hand. I'm gonna take it underneath the right leg, grab it with the hand, and then take it underneath the left leg. Just back and forth like this. Moving a little bit slow. A few more times. And again, the next time that block comes into the left hand, holding there, nice. You can rest that block in your lap again. So traditionally, there are six colors in the rainbow. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red's the first color. Orange the second color, yellow's the third color, green's the fourth color, blue's the fifth color, 
purple is that sixth color. So we're just gonna pass the block back and forth as we go through those colors. It's gonna look like this, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we'll call out the colors as we pass the block. You can continue to pass the block back and forth between the hands, or if you like me, you can join me in making that infinity symbol, that sideways eight as you call out the colors. We'll start with that block in that left hand. And we'll begin. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Let's do it again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Nice. Now we're going to do the same thing, but passing the block underneath the legs. So again, we'll start with that block in that left hand. And beginning red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. One more time, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Nice, let's rest that block in our lap for a moment. We're now gonna think about the last letter in a color. So if I say, what is the last letter in yellow? You'll say W, and so we're gonna pass it with that last letter. So what is the last letter in purple? E, nice. What is the last letter in blue? E, and you can join me whenever you want to. What is the last letter in red? D. What is the last letter in orange? E. What is the last letter in green? And good. Now this time we're gonna have a block again in our left hand. And let's see if we can raise a block as we're thinking before we say the color. So it's a little more complicated. It's gonna look like this. What is the last color of oh, color? Already I lost it. Let me try again. What is the last letter in red? D. And again, I'm gonna float that block up as I think, what is the last letter in purple? E. What is the last letter in blue? E. What is the last letter in yellow? W. Join me whenever you'd like to, if you're not already with me. What is the last letter in green? N. What is the last letter in blue? E. What is the last letter in red? D. What is the last letter in orange? E, nice, good. And we're gonna do the same thing, last letter in the colors as we pass the block underneath the legs, it will look like this. What is the last color in blue? E, what is the last color in, what is the last letter in red? D. What is the last letter in yellow? W, join me whenever you like to. What is the last letter in purple? E, what is the last 
letter in green, N. What is the last letter in yellow, W? What is the last letter in blue, E? What is the last letter in red, D? What is the last letter in orange? E. What is the last letter in purple? E. <sighs> nice job. We'll rest that block in our lap for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Excellent work, hard work. Just take a moment to acknowledge that. And before we leave the colors, we're just gonna work on volume here and lung capacity. So we're gonna pick a color. We'll do it through red through purple, right in order of the traditional rainbow. And we're gonna think about red and then we're gonna call it across the room. We're really gonna bellow it. We're gonna see if we can sort of make our voices make that shape of a rainbow. It's gonna be like this. Deep breath in, red! That wasn't too loud. Deep breath in, orange. Deep breath in, yellow. Deep breath in, green. Deep breath in, blue. Deep breath in, purple. Nice. We're gonna do that one more time, a little bit slower. And join me whenever you're ready. Deep breath in, red. Deep breath in, orange. Deep breath in, yellow. Deep breath in, green. Deep breath in, blue. Deep breath in, purple. Nice job, beautiful. All right, let's uh, move these blocks underneath our chair so they're out of our way. And we're going to just take a little bit more distance between the feet and you can hold onto the base of your chair and just scooch up a little bit. You still wanna be supported, but more on the forward part of your chair here. Some distance, a wider distance between the feet, but we still want um, the ankles right underneath the knee here. And then holding onto my chair, I'm just gonna draw that left heel over to the right and then plant it back into the earth. Nice. And then I'll take that heel in line with the toes again. And let's repeat that. Heel is drawn over to the right and then heel in line with the toes and keep going. Spiraling that foot down and then heel in line with the toes. Spiraling that foot heel down, then heel in line with the toes, spiraling that heel over to the right towards the center line, then heel in line with the toes, spiraling the heel to the right, and then heel in line with the toes. In order to spiral, we come up onto the ball of the foot and then draw the heel over to the side or towards the center, and then landing it, coming back onto that heel, uh, sorry, coming on, back onto that ball of the foot and drawing the heel in line with the toes and grounding. Nice. Strengthening th through the ankles because it's so important for our balance and then still working on a rotation from the hips for, for, uh, for more mobility. On the other side here, we'll come onto the ball of that right foot and then draw the heel towards the step, towards me, let's say, and then plant it down. We'll come onto the ball of the foot and then take the heel in line with the toes again and planting it down. Coming onto the ball of the foot, draw the heel towards me and then planting it. Coming onto the ball of the foot and taking the heel in line with the toes a few more times here. And if you like, maybe we can even try the cues with me. So you can say ball of the foot, spiral, plant the heel. Ball of the foot, spiral to draw the heel back in line with the toes and plant. Let's try that one more time. 
Follow the foot, spiral, plant the heel. Follow the foot, spiral, drawing the heel in line with the toes and planting. All right, nice. From here, we're just gonna take a couple of twists. We'll reach that right arm over to the left leg. And then we'll take it the other way. Back and forth a few times here. Feeling how this is working the core. So as you do this, try to lift that belly, keeping it a little bit more light and able to spiral a little deeper. Nice. And coming back center. And from here, I'm going to come onto the ball of that right foot and spiral the heel out to the side. Holding here for a moment. And then I'm gonna take that right hand to my left thigh, coming into a little twist here. Actually, it doesn't feel too little, a big twist here. And coming back center, I'll take that right heel in line with the toes again. Let's try that same side again. I'm gonna spiral that heel over to the right. And then I'm gonna take that right hand to my left thigh, twisting over to the left. And releasing, drawing that heel back in line with the toes. One last time, taking that heel over to the right. We'll take that right hand to that left thigh, spiraling to the left. And releasing, drawing that heel back in line with the toes. Nice. Let's take that to the other side. We're gonna come onto the ball of that left foot, take that heel out to the left, and then we'll take that left hand to the right thigh, spiraling to the right. And releasing, heel in line with the toes. It's minutia movement, but really important because it allows us to get deep in our hips. And when we can move from our hips, we can also spiral deeper. So this is me trying to spiral without moving, with, with keeping the hips fixed. And then if I spiral that heel down, suddenly I can go a lot further. So that's what we're working, building that mobility here. We have two more uh, times on this side. So we'll spiral that heel out to the side. And then we're gonna take that left hand to the right thigh, twisting here. And releasing, coming back center. And one last time, taking that heel over to the left, left hand to right thigh and twisting to the right. And releasing, coming center, nice. Let's walk the feet in a little bit, knees in line with the hips here. Take a moment to grab your seat, sort of just grounding yourself through the seat bones and then we're gonna lift the arms up alongside the ears coming into a seated Uttasana. A couple of deep breaths here and then we'll float the arms down, nice. We're gonna come to stand here and I'm going to try to continue mirroring. If something feels off, Feel free to um, adjust to make it feel better in the body. I'm gonna come to stand on the left side of my chair. And then I'm gonna turn to face in to the seat of my chair. From here, soft bend at the knees. And then I'm gonna plant my hands into the seat of the chair. I'm gonna lift the belly here. I'm gonna push into the chair a little bit so I'm not sinking in those shoulders. From here, I'm gonna step that left foot back into a lunge. And then I'm gonna use my upper body strength to really push it into the chair. In doing so, I'm drawing that back heel further down towards the earth. And maybe I hold here, or maybe I take that right hand to the top of my chair, really push down into the sole of that right foot and float that left arm up alongside the ear, just an option. If you're taking this option, holding it for a moment. Nice stretch in that left hip flexor. 
and then taking the hands back to the seat. We all join here together again. I'm gonna come onto the ball of that back foot. My heel lifts away from the mat, holding there for a moment. And then I'm gonna spiral that back heel down. Holding here for a moment. Really again, pushing into that sole of that left foot. Option to stay like this, or if you like floating that left arm up to the sky, extended side ankle here. We're rotating the spine in towards the center of the room. And I'm spreading, you can't see, but I'm spreading my fingers nice and wide. The stretch gets to every little tiny part of the body. Option to stay like this. I'm gonna float my arm down and then flip the palm to the sky and sweep the arm alongside the ear. Once I'm here, I'm gonna push down into the foot and see if I can lift those ribs up to the sky. Hold them here for a few breaths. And then we'll float that left arm up to the sky again. We'll take the left hand to the seat of our chair, come onto the ball of that back foot. So I float that heel away from the earth. And we'll come back into that lunge, so drawing that heel down towards the mat. And then stepping that left foot beside the right, soft bend the knees for a moment, and then come to stand tall, nice. I'm gonna have my right hand, actually, I'm gonna stand like this on the side of my chair, have both hands, stand behind your chair with both hands on your chair here. My feet are gonna be underneath my hips. And from here, I'm gonna come onto the ball of that left foot. Then spiral the heel towards me, holding here our tree pose, right? Working on our balance here. Keep that belly lifted, draw those shoulders down away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna bend that left leg. Then come to stand tall with the inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And this time as we come to stand tall, Hold it here as we exhale. If you like, you can take it a little further by taking the sole of that right foot to the ankle or maybe the calf. A couple more breaths. If your balance is excellent today, maybe taking one hand to the sternum here, feeling the settling quality of that movement. and releasing, nice. We're gonna turn in to face our chair again. We'll take our hands to the seat of our chair, walk our feet just slightly out, or slightly back, I should say. Little bend at the knee here. I'm gonna step that right foot forward and then roll onto the outer edge of that right foot. You can do that a few times, just sort of massaging through that foot and then holding here. And I can see how much I can bend that right knee, getting into that hip. Now option to stay just like this, breathing deeply. Again, if your balance is really spot on today and you wanna take it a little further, we'll ground that foot. We'll come to stand tall and then we'll take that right foot onto the seat of our chair. From here, we'll roll onto the outer edge of the foot, dropping that knee against the back of our chair here. Option to stay nice and tall like this, or if you like, slight bend in that standing leg. And then I'm gonna sort of release into a forward bend over that right foot. Again, getting deep in that right hip. This is our version of pigeon. 
holding for a couple of breaths. You can play around with it. Does that bend in the standing leg make you feel more stable? Or does it feel better to st start to straighten it? Does it help you get a little deeper in the hip? What feels best to you? Yoga is a sort of investigation, constant investigation. What's working? What feels best? How do I build more strength and stability? Just a couple more breaths. And if you're in the pose I'm doing right now with your foot on the chair, we'll bend that standing knee again and carefully take that right foot back to the earth and then come to stand tall. Nice. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna to come to the right side of my chair and then turn in to face that chair. From here, I'm gonna plant my hand into the seat of my chair, lift that belly, push down into the hands so I'm not sinking in those shoulders, right? You can see the difference when I'm sort of just hanging out here or when I'm actively resisting the chair, building that strength here. Soft bend at the knees, we'll step that right foot back into our lunge here. And take a moment to really push down in to the seat of our chair, dropping that back heel towards the earth. A couple more breaths. And then we're gonna come onto the ball of that back foot and spiral the foot down. Toes come to face me. Maybe you want to try that again so you can come onto the ball of the foot and then take the heel to face the sky, returning to your lunge. It's, it's a little complicated movement, right? But again, when we can get that spiraling action down, we're opening up through the hips and we're able to move deeper in our poses often. So we spiral that back heel down. Option to stay like this with the hands grounded the seat of your chair, or if you like, we'll float that right arm up to the sky, rotating the spine to the center of the room, extended side angle. And nice and large and big here, taking up space and the joy that comes with that. Deep breaths. Option to stay like this, or we'll float that right arm down. Lift the palm up to the sky and then draw the arm alongside the ear. And if you're taking, if you're following along with me here, and we're gonna see if we can draw those top ribs up to the sky, getting a little deeper into a side stretch. One long stretch from that back foot all the way to the hand here. And then we'll take that hand up to the sky again. And we'll float the hand down to the seat of our chair. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Return to our lunge. And we'll step that back foot beside the front. Come and stand nice and tall. Right. We'll come to stand behind our chairs again, holding onto our chairs. Again, just so that you, I'm... You can see me. I'm gonna step out to the side here and I'm gonna come onto the ball of that left foot and spiral the heel towards you. You spiral your heel towards me, holding here for a moment, inhaling deeply. On the exhale, we'll bend that right leg. Inhaling to stand tall and exhaling, inhaling. And exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. And this next time, inhale, and as you exhale, stay standing tall. Our tree here, holding here, working on our balance, lift the belly. Maybe pick one place to fix your gaze. 
If you want to try to take it a little deeper, we'll take the sole of that left foot to the ankle or float it up to the calf. Holding here, really feeling planted and grounded through the sole of that right foot. We're pushing into the earth here. That's how we build our strength in yoga, by, by pushing against the earth, working with the earth. And if you wanna take it even a little further, maybe taking your hand to the sternum or what like I like to call the heart here. And a couple more breaths. Draw the shoulders away from the shoulders. You can even lift the chest up to the sky a little bit. And releasing down, nice. Turning into face into our chair again, we'll plant the hands in the seat of the chair, walk the feet back slightly so they're underneath the hips. I'm gonna step that left foot forward and roll onto the outer edge of that left foot, bending that left knee, holding here, our pigeon. Again, we can kind of massage the feet so we can plant that foot and then roll onto the outer edge just a few times. And then rolling on the outer edge of that foot to hold. Option to stay just like this. You could even try coming down onto the forearm, see how that feels for you. Maybe taking a little bend in that right knee if you need to. Or if you want, we'll ground that sole of the foot. Come to stand tall and step that left foot up on our chair here. We'll drop that left knee out to the side here, rolling onto the outer edge of the foot. Standing nice and tall here, or if you like, bending that standing leg and maybe releasing the hands to the seat of your chair, coming into a forward bend. Deep breathing here. Already starting to transition to Shavasana or the final part of our practice. So we're slowing it down with this last pose here. Just a couple more deep breaths. And as you are breathing here, see if you can feel the breath traveling up the back on the inhale and then traveling down on the exhale. Again, tuning into that feeling of expansionness, expansionness, expansion on the inhale and narrowing on the exhale. qualities that come with that, the feeling of lightness with the ex expansion or the inhale and with the exhale or the narrowing, the feeling of centeredness. And grounding that foot into the seat of the chair again, we'll come to stand tall and then releasing that left foot beside the right. Nice practice. I hope you feel pretty good in the hips, a little more open. You need to take a moment just to let this practice, all that strength, stretching and strengthening just settle in the body. So you can come sit on your chairs. If you like, lean back against your chair now, just feeling a little more comfortable. Hands at the laps, if you like, closing your eyes again. And as you sit here, take a moment to relax the feet, relax the hands, relax the belly, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Remembering that with this relaxation, our practice 
the stretching, the strengthening can settle in the body. And as you sit here, just take a moment to internally scan the body, seeing if you can identify how you're feeling, where there might be a sense of new lightness or space, maybe even a gentle rumble of energy. That's always my favorite. And just taking a moment to acknowledge that, that energy that you built during the course of your practice. And we'll take the hands to the heart here. To end our class, we'll take one breath together as a group. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Thank you for joining me in practice. Namaste.